Good morning. When I look back at my time when I first started here at the Convent of the Holy Spirit, it was an exceptional day in my life. I also had an opportunity to do something that I had always wanted to do, but hadn't had the opportunity, and that was to serve and to use my talents within a religious organization. And it's moments like this where I'm reminded of just how memorable these encounters are. Today, we get a chance to have a conversation with a young lady who came all the way from Germany to stay with the sister and get an understanding of what a lay volunteer and what that looks like on an on the ground level. She's going to be sharing with us the wonderful memories of this wonderful encounter with the Holy Spirit Missionary Sisters. It's an opportunity for us to hear from someone who actually walked this journey, what being a lay volunteer looks like and how you can get involved as well. My name is Andrew Dixon. Welcome everybody to Christ Over Coffee. Good morning, Sister Rosalia. Please share with our audience what's going on in your life today as you introduce today's guest. Hi, Andrew. Good morning to you and to all my friends in the audience today. It is good to be back after being away for a month working at our Summer Peace Camp 2023 program. Andrew, I found your interview with Father Adam McDonald in our previous episode of Christ Over Coffee interesting and inspiring. Today, I wish to present another wonderful guest to our audience who is also a faithful viewer. Sister Vibrance, courageous young woman with an adventurous spirit and a big heart for missionary service for love of others. Louisa Schroeder is a lay volunteer with the Holy Spirit Missionary Sisters. She's originally from Germany and is one of the young people who participated in the Mass Missionary for Time program, which trains young people who wish to donate a year of their life in service to other people. Their desires and skills are matched with the needs and they are sent to various mission countries to collaborate either with the Holy Spirit Missionary Sisters or other organizations. Luisa has been with us at the Life Learning Center for a year and this will be her very last week with us in Chicago. So, before she leaves the United States, we welcome her to our broadcast and ask her to share her experience working closely with us at the Holy Spirit Life Learning Center. Please help me welcome Luisa to the broadcast. Good morning, Luisa. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. So like, I feel like I'm in the, like the movie star, you know, for the interview. You have been collaborating with us here in the center for almost a year. And believe it or not, time flies. And this is your last week with us here in the center and in the community in Rogers Park. Please share with us, how did you get to know the SSPS mission? What inspired you? And what has been your experience working closely with the sisters in the center? I found out about the opportunity one year ago before I came here to volunteer. And it was already the thing that I was most excited about for one year because I like working with kids and um, yeah, I like making different activities like arts and crafts and coming up with different things so they can also have a fun time. Um, yeah, I've been interacting with the people in this community like for one year now 
because I used to, when I just like normally volunteer in the center, I used to teach English or dance classes or other stuff. Um, yeah, and what I've, I've learned is that the people are really, really welcoming and they really like, I felt like a part of their group really soon, even though I just like got to the center like a new person here in September last year. But it went like really fast. I became part of their community. And at the end of the year, they invited me for parties to say goodbye. And also with the parents of the summer peace camp, I have really good experiences so far. Yeah, um, yeah, the experience was very good. The sisters are really fun. Like in the beginning, I thought community life was very like boring. <laughs> and what am I gonna do the whole time? But actually, it turned out to be a lot of fun. Like we have a lot of um, fun together. Like we dance together sometimes. We watch movies. And I figured out that sisters are normal people, just as you and I, you know, there's no, like, there's no difference between us. So that was a really interesting experience to make for a year. Um, yeah, definitely had a really big impact on my life. Because before, like after high school, I was kind of lost and I didn't know what I was going to do. And working in the center and especially volunteering in the summer peace camp helped me figure out that I want to study social work. And um, yeah, when it comes to like prayer life, I saw how like faithful the sisters are and like they always pray in the morning <laughs> and in the evening. And I'm not, I'm not the biggest like <laughs> fan of community prayer to be honest, but my own prayer definitely became more, more deep throughout this year. And I, I have a more, like more of a sense that God is really there always in every situation and everywhere. Yeah. What would you say to our young friends who may be looking for opportunities to contribute to someone's missions or do voluntary service like you have. Do you see the benefit of going through a preparatory program like the one you have been engaging in? Um, there's a very short thing I want to say and it's go do it. <laughs> like stop finding, like if you're right now and you're thinking like, oh, but I have to go work, I have to earn money, I can't because I'm still in school or whatever stop and like really go and do it because it will help you a lot for your whole life like you may not earn money but you will earn a lot of like soft skills and things that will be with you for the rest of your life so go and do it okay my last question as you prepare to go back home this weekend would you like to share any words for the holy spirit missionary sisters of course, a big thank you for everything, for letting me stay with you for one year. And um, yeah, I've been so blessed with you, um, also with all the sisters who live in the convent in Techni and in my community in Rogers Park. I, when I got here, it took me like one week to feel at home basically. And that was due to your, um, you guys being so welcoming. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for everything. I will keep all this experience in my heart for the rest of my life, definitely. Thank you very much. What a wonderful share today. I want you to know that we all are going to miss you so, so much. It's amazing to think that 
it seems like just yesterday you were in the provincial office and they were introducing us and now you're going back home already. That time flew by so fast. But I want you to know that you made such a wonderful impact, not just on my life, but on so many of the sisters' lives and the staff here. And on behalf of the Holy Spirit Missionary Sisters, know that we will be praying for you, thinking about you, and we hold out in hope that one day again, we will see you yet once more. But until then, may God bless you and thank you so much for joining us here today. If you would like to know how you can become a lay volunteer or even a Holy Spirit missionary sister, if you feel like God is calling you to religious life, we want you to give us a call today at 847-441-0120. Also, you can visit our website to get even more information about the Holy Spirit Missionary Sisters. You can find us at www.ssps-usa.org. And don't stop there. We also want you to know that we are on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And you can follow us at these various locations down below me. All we ask, as always, is that you would like, comment, and share the wonderful encouragements that you see. We love you and we thank you so much for joining us yet again this day. And until next time, remember, we're going to be walking this life one sip at a time. We thank you all so much for joining us. God bless you and your families. Take care. And may you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.